starting a new project now you make sure you select your visual basic right there and you select window forms application give your project a name so i'll call this uh, piano underscore lesson there click on ok and once your system is ready to be similar to this very name right there piano lesson so what i'll do next is just extend my form to about that size if you like you can decide to look at the property windows and right there that's the size of my window right now 965 by 392 so the next thing i will do is get the toolbox and my toolbox is there click on the button component that's the button right there just drag it up about, about that size and that's my button right there the button i intend to use i'm going to be using that very button so before i start let me change some of the properties so the font properties i would like to set that to about maybe 20 Okay, set the font property to bold and 20 click on ok the next thing I want to do is I like my button to be aligned bottom center look at it right there so select that I hope you, you can notice the text align click on that then change this button change it to C and that is it right there now that the properties of this very button is set all I just do now is hold down on your control click and drag I need 11 of those in total I'm just going to select all of that and repeat exactly the same thing and once more I have that that will be 9 and uh, 2 more that makes it 11 ok so that's my buttons now in place so all I just need to do is change the text value as a D and continue to change that change that to the E the next one will be F and that will be a G and follow an A and we have a B we have C one then we have a D one and E one and finally for the bottom buttons that will be F1 ok now I have all my buttons in place the next thing I'll do is just to now create the other button that will be on top of this very keyboard so so to start with I'll just copy the last button right here let's copy paste it right there and change let's change the color change the back color to something a little bit white let's go for the back color oh uh, no change it to black sorry back color custom black and change the font the font color will be changed to white there so I will now copy these very buttons across Just arrange it right here and there uh, make that two and I need another two more three more here okay you must have seen my previous uh, piano tutorial in the C++ uh, visual C++ and I've also created one in uh, uh, I 
splash one was created using Java as well so if, for those of you who've been watching my tutorial you must have seen all of these uh, keyboard uh, tutorial so this one is just a full tutorial for C++ which I'm uh, sorry for Visual Basic which I've never done before in Visual Basic but uh, there's a lot of difference in this one so the next thing I'll do now guys let me just say uh, change the notes of this and uh, we'll take it from okay now I'm going to change the, the text value in each button so the first one will be C sharp um, I think it says C and I don't know what it's called in music but uh, I'll just give it a, a shot and try to do as much as I can. So that's F and the other one will be G G with an arch and follow by capital B and lowercase B. Then we now have uh, C arch one then finally I call that D arch one there so the design of my buttons are ready so the next thing is because I intend to use a console uh, music note and um, steel drum note so I will now add radio buttons so let me get three radio buttons there they are so let me just maybe change the I think that's fine Let's just put that there I have two and uh, three okay so this might be my console note console note So, if you want to listen to console music, you use that. This will be musical note or music note. I don't know which is which. I just made up all of this music using my old piano right here. Then the next one is uh, still drum note. Okay, there. So. For those of you who are good programmers, you can always assume what I intend to do. Uh, I will be using if statement, or maybe I should use select, but maybe just cheat by if statement. So just before I continue, let me increase the, uh, the size of these uh, selectors. So I could call me and just change that. And there, make it maybe about 12 okay that's good enough yeah the next the next step is now to upload my music let me upload all of the notes so i'll go to my project right here just up there click select the name of my project which is called piano lesson click on the property once that is ready make sure you select resources right there click on resources now you see this window where it says strings strings drop it down and select audio click on audio and now you have to browse to wherever your music tunes are Once audio is selected, you can see right there. Now come to add resources. Drop that down. Select add existing files. And right in here, I have my music tones. So if you have not unzip it, I would advise you to unzip the music. That's the music right there. So I'm going to double click on it 
and all of the music notes right here those are just the plain music notes I will upload those select it all upload on board now repeat the same thing go back to the odd existing files now I'm going to now upload my console where is it uh, sorry upload my steel drum tunes that's my steel drum music notes or musical notes upload them on board as well click on open so I have ordinary note and I also have my steel drum notes that I've made up and that is it now I'm ready to start programming or oh, I'm ready to start writing the codes so I can now go back to my form there now start by double clicking on my C right here because I'm going to be using click events so I'll start by using an if statement so which means let's say if radio button 1 if radio button 1 dot checked equals true okay then I want my console console dot bleep okay console dot, dot bleep let's make that 200 comma um, let's say 500 yeah that's cool so that's our console set and I'm gonna use an else if statement just to get the other one working or well, maybe just stick by if statement as well I just stick by my if statement instead of using else if if radio button 2 does check equals true in this case I want to change my let's say my computer okay my computer dot audio dot audio okay dot play open bracket and say my dot resources my dot resources dot C so that is the music note C that I want comma and I want you to play as a background music let's click on OK so that is that set I might as well just copy this I can always copy it and use it for my steel drum paste that there change the radio button to radio button 3 now change the C dot C that will become C underscore drum okay so that's it and that's for the very first button so if I run this very program okay with my console selected so click on C you hear that guys so supposing I want the music notes to play and if I choose or if I decide to play the steel drum you can see you can all hear the difference so let me just close that all I do now is just copy let's copy my codes right here and go to my font design double click on D paste that in there and change that to D because that's the name of my files and change that to D as well if you want to confirm the name of my files you can always see them right here okay that's very simple name and C and that's D and this is the one I'm using now for the steel drum as a D okay 
so let's go back so that is that for the steel drum now let's change the console let's just increase that by 50 all right so let's repeat the same thing for button 3 paste change this to 300 just and change this I believe that is E okay change that to E and the steel drum change that to E as well and so on so what I would do next is uh, just play what I've done so far and I'll speed it up okay now let's play what we've done so far with the console selected C D E let's select the music tune select the steel drum and listen to that you can hear the difference if you don't like the tune that much I made it up so you shouldn't expect it to be brilliant okay now let's go back into the coding area and get the rest sorted and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I finish now the project is fully completed so let me just play out the console for you guys I'm gonna now try it out with my speaker connected but just before that let's close this and show you the codes and that's the code from the beginning let's take that up those are my codes right from beginning from button one which is the C that's it right there you can always comment it out if you want so that you know which is which as the musical notes C and it is this is D and so on. okay so let me just show you the codes which is the most important thing that's the code right there okay that's for the D. The code are similar, so all I just did was change the console setting and uh, my music notes, which I made up. You can always make up the same thing if you have a piano at home or anything. And that's the right idea. The steel drum sort of like take me some time to get right. It's still not perfect, but it's okay. And that is it right there. That's the codes. You can see the code is all the same. The only changes are the different files, the different music files used. So that's it, guys. And that's all for this tutorial so let me just give you some beautiful tunes again so let's play some music okay of course I have to select one of these uh, radio buttons to get it to as it That's how you develop a piano. Okay, so you can try out the drum. It's a little bit slow. Okay, I'm just going to call that a day for now. So you all have a nice day. I suppose you all enjoy this brief tutorial. It's a little bit long, I'm sorry about that. Have a nice day.